family's always had somebody in the military and something that seemed like uh, fun. Joined when I was 17, late entry program, and then I shipped out when I was 18, two weeks after I turned 18, and graduated and went to infantry basic down in Benning, Georgia, an airborne school down there. And then my first duty station was Fort Povey, Panama. Well, after I after I got out of active duty, I went and I got my bachelor's degree. During that time, I joined the National Guard, which I did uh, another 17 years with them, so for a total of 21 years before I retired in 2010. At the time, I was a patrolman, and I was attempting to become a lieutenant, a supervisor here, and other candidates also had master's degrees too, so I knew that to stay competitive, I probably needed one. The program system that Marion had, which is what I really liked, was it's, they're all adults. When I got out of active duty, I went back to college. Now I'm four years older than anybody else in the room sitting in the class. They're 18, 19 years old, just got away from home, where I've had four years in the military with very strict regiments of what to do, when to do it, you know, and learning discipline and focus. And then now I'm in a classroom with all these kids and you're like, wow, you know, at, at 22 years old, you feel old. <laughs> and Marion had a evening class, which was one day a week. It was three hours and it was all adults. We're all working in different fields at the time. All the professors that would come in were all working in the field, so they had all practical experience. Everything here is also is a collaborative teamwork program. You got your patrol officers, you got your lieutenants and your captains, and you got your administration, so all of you have to work together for your common goal. So the whole program was based around that.